Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're at 9 already on this Eden streak. Been killing it. Good runs, uh, occasional scary runs. This doesn't look like one of them with hot bombs. Uh, half decent starting stats at least. RPWX HJVJ. Okay, I took Infested because we have the nail to back ourselves up, so I figured we might as well. Um, take the pill, maybe it'll be good. If it's bad trip, at least we have another Spirit Heart coming immediately. Uh, the nail is the, is the coup de gras here, for sure. You know, it's C-O-U-P de gras. Tyson. The, the Neil coup de gras Tyson. Which is what it's called when he lays a fat ass science burn on somebody and just makes them, they get so shrecked they don't even know uh, which, which direction the earth spins anymore. Okay, we're gonna change directions here because this is getting a little dicey there. Um, I mean, our, our damage is okay. Hot bombs is mostly good because we start with five bombs, so we should be able to find, uh, you know, tinted rocks fairly easy to access early on. But, you know, the, the more bombs you have in the early game, the more bombs you tend to use in the early game, in my experience. But uh, if we can leave this floor with even one spirit heart, I'll be relatively pleased with the way it looks, especially if we can get a DPS upgrade after... Uh, uh, after this boss fight, but I'm pretty sure that this is well positioned to get to win number 10, which would feel pretty good. Yeah, just walk right into the fire, right after saying that you were doing pretty well. Um, actually, NL, you said you were doing pretty good, which is not the correct way to phrase that in the English language. Thank you, Miriam and or Webster. Um, that is, it looks like a secret room. It smells like a secret room, it sucks like a secret room, but it is not a secret room because it is adjacent to a narrow room there. Um, and like the Tacoma Narrows Bridge and also Kanye West's second big single, uh, our dreams just all fall down there. Apologies to anybody who lost somebody in the Tacoma Narrows Bridge tragedy. I kind of just assumed that I could, I could mine it for humor. You know, yeah, it was really funny when that bridge collapsed in the... Everybody died, a bunch of engineers lost their jobs, but, uh, you know, I was, it's, it's been like, it's been like 50 years, right? I was trying to, when did the Tacoma Narrows Bridge collapse? Where were you when the Tacoma Narrows Bridge collapsed? Okay, so I didn't use the nail yet, I want to use it on the boss just to get the damage. Yeah, sure, um, we'll definitely take the mulligan as well. Well, if that's not the secret room, where the hell is it? That's a very valid question. This is why I oftentimes end up using so many spirit hearts on the first floor, even when I start with an item like hot bombs, because they put it in a weird location. So we traded a bomb for a key, so far so good. And then we traded a bomb for a bomb. Also fine. Uh, let's get out of here. Actually, I'm trying to run some quick little math here. If I was a second secret room, I would probably be right here. And inside of there we get... Okay, so we traded a... Two bombs to blow this up. Two bombs for a bomb and a penny. Not a great trade. But still relatively okay here, all things considered. Probably not going to get an arcade on the next floor. We could do so maybe by shooting this poop or uh, going to that uh, shop and blowing up a donation machine or shooting the fire in there. I know that's not poop. This is fire. Daddy's brain, it, it plays a lot of Isaac, right? You know, it's the medium is the message is what I'm trying to say. And I mean... When I say that, what I mean is I have no idea what I'm talking about, but Marshall McLuhan, represent, represent. All my McLuhan heads know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very unfortunate damage on my part there. Just found myself, uh, and it is my own fault, but I found myself wrong place, wrong time there. Uh, while, uh, killing the final ghost. Got wrapped up in it in a bad way. It's all right. Sort of. Probably will not ruin our deal with the devil chances. At least not yet. We get HP. Alright, let's just head down to the next floor. I have, I have confidence uh, in ourselves. It is a burning basement, which is a little dicey. Um, but I find that if you're forced to play pretty... Oh god, that was close. I'm trapped! <laughs> if you're forced to play well uh, on this floor, it sets a tone, you know? We only have to do five rooms or so to get our... Uh, to get our spirit heart, and if we do so, there will be like a real sense, ooh, 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 uh, a real sense of accomplishment there. Yo, Pride in the Name of Love is a great U2 song, but it's also a very scary uh, boss fight to face this early on because he doesn't get hurt by his own bombs, especially on a tiny room. It's it's very scary. Oh my God, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
Woo indeed. I was not scared at all there. Um, let's use a bomb. Maybe we can get access to our mob trap room. Goat hoof is an acceptable pickup, especially because the nail does lower our speed. Um, sure, there's a chance at a spirit heart. We didn't get one. Instead, we're going to fight a couple of bosses here. Pin followed by Monstro or Duke of Flies, maybe. Either way, um, you know, it is the first floor, so let's not lose our heads completely here. I was really hoping we'd be able to pick up a spirit heart. Let's be honest, we would have wanted to do this room anyway if we could have finagled it somehow. Oh, two gurglings is... It's not bad as long as we can kill them before they really start to box us out. We want to hit as much as possible, not just to do damage, but also to get these extra flies that can do damage themselves as well. Lucky us. Was a little space left over for me to make that move. Good, that was totally fine. We also picked up another key. Okay, once we finish this room, I believe that will be the nail. So all we have to do is not get hit here. Sometimes easier said than done. And we definitely, uh, <laughs> in hindsight, probably would have been better off going to our shop on the last floor, blowing it up a little bit to get a... Uh, to get a little bit of a bonus there, spirit heart wise, a little bit of a peace of mind. So it seems like this is the right idea to use the nail on this room. We picked up a uh, couple of consumables as a result of that, and uh, sure, we won't have the damage bonus for this room, but that's probably relatively okay. Desperately searching for some more DPS, in particular tears. Both tears and damage kind of serve their own unique purpose here, but um, I'll take generating flies more often over those flies doing more damage, but I would love to have either of them. A cool tier effect is also up there. A lot of items would be pretty much worthless. Hey, this is none of them, but it actually is awesome. Toxic Shock um, lowers the amount of damage we need to basically be a, a functional human being at this point in our lives, so I'm, I'm pretty into that. We also just picked up two extra Spirit Hearts from a Tinted Rock. Um, we definitely want to go to our shop on this floor, and it looks like that will be pretty easy. Um, anything that gives us the ability to get more charges on the nail, or more uses out of the nail, is uh, kind of chief amongst our, our interests here. Or something like Champion Belt, of course, would be fine as well, but... Um, or a Steam Sale, because we are early on, but, you know, there's, there's what, like 100,000 items that could be in here, roughly? So, uh, we'll, we'll start with the 9-volt, which is actually a very good one. And then we'll... Just fight our boss, get our deal with the devil that we... Actually, it might not look like it, but we very much worked for that uh, that deal with the devil here. So hopefully, something like the Mark Pact Sin Robes, um, those would be like B to A tier items, I think. I don't need the S tier items. We've had, uh, we've had Brimstone and Mom's Knife, you know, on occasion recently. I'm sated. Just give me something that bumps up my raw stats and makes it possible for us to get uh, dope synergies later. Death's Touch, also in there. Abaddon, sign me up. I mean, this doesn't just have to be a list of me naming items over and over, I suppose. Uh, the pills, not that into. Uh, you know what? We definitely want Succubus. We definitely want Dark Bum. Do we want the Demon Baby? I mean, I guess we will. We have a decent amount of spirit arts and the gener uh, ability to generate more easily. Luck up, infested. 48 hour energy is huge here. And tears up. That that was actually beautiful. Okay, let's head down. Um, really strong ability to generate spirit hearts in the future. Slight damage improvement, I suppose, based on the fact that we have uh, Succubus now. It'll also do some damage over time. Nod Leaf actually completely vindicates the decision to take Demon Baby. Now, it's pretty unlikely that we'll find ourselves in a situation in which I exclusively want to use Nod Leaf to protect myself and Demon Baby only to deal damage. But if we ever find ourselves one hit away from death because I made an idiotic decision or something, this now gives us the ability to do that. And we're back up to 15 cents here. Well, that was a... It's it's scary to think about how different that run could have been, or this run could be, I guess I should say, because it's in the future tense still. Um, if I did not get that deal with the devil, if I just took some stupid damage on the second floor, you know, we miss out on three deal with the devil items. I guess we still get the 9 volt. We'd still pick up Nod Leaf, and honestly, with Nod Leaf, we'd probably still be pretty excited. We'd be like, hey, this is like a really good defensive item we can't really take advantage of yet. But in our situation presently, we can take advantage of it. If we have to, I guess. 
but uh, not my not my number one priority. Okay, one more room for the nail, and toxic shock actually probably enabled me to get out of that without getting hit, so I'm into that. Certainly want to go to our shop. Humbling bundle would be awesome now. I'm starting to notice we're running out of consumables. Instead, we'll do what we always do and take Chaos. I don't think the uh, Mom's Locket is particularly good for us, but uh, Chaos is both good and horrible. Um, there are there are times when it's incredible. There are times when it's frustrating, but it's always interesting. And um, it, it's an item that I myself, on a couple of occasions, or probably numerous occasions, back when like Vanilla uh, and, and Rebirth were out, um, I... Hypothesized would be a lot of fun. Hey, what about an item that gives everything universal item pools? Here we are. I gotta tell you, I feel like I gotta take it every time. I'm not saying I invented the idea, but rather um, that I gotta put my money where my mouth is so that I don't, you know, betray my past, uh, my past ideologies, I guess. So there is a battery charge in here, which is why we came down first. We will be slower as a result of popping it, but still. Certainly, uh, where did that demon heart come from? Did we just have Dark Bum drop a demon heart? Because that's the way it certainly seemed, but I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm missing out. Okay, yet another uh, battery charge drop there and still no damage. Excuse me. Found our boss fight and not a second secret room. I think we need the speed upgrade over Blind Rage. I actually find Blind Rage a, a pretty interesting trinket, but um, the Goat Hoof really helps us out on rooms where we use the nail, um, which is... Uh, apparently every single one of them based on the number of battery charges that are dropping. Forsaken is dead. We get nine lives. Holy crap. Let's take it. And, um, well, I mean, that's, that's chaos for you, I guess. We'll take Mr. Mega, and you know what? We'll take Curse of the Tower as well. You know why? Because, uh, you're in the jungle, baby! You're gonna die! Dun, dun. Okay, you get the idea. Um, well, we're taking Curse of the Tower because I still hold out this hope that, um, one day, we're gonna have like the ideal Curse of the Tower run, and it's gonna be beautiful. And um, every time we get hit, we're gonna spawn like 30 sad bombs that also heal us. And have we ever really come to that conclusion or come to that uh, consequence yet? Mm, we've had some pretty good Curse of the Tower runs, not lately, I think, but um, we, we've had some okay ones. I know we could step on that, but I think I'm gonna walk on the spike to do it, so. Um, so no is the answer to your question, if that's what you're grilling me on. But uh, the, the chance is there. The chance is there. Plus, we're already so strong. I think on runs like this, you got to give a little bit of uh, penance to the game. You know, you got to flagellate yourself a little bit uh, in order to uh, in order to appease the the gods of the RNG. We're gonna go back for that battery charge. Obviously, I'm still like I'm confused as to why we're getting so many battery charges. I'm confused in a very positive way, but confused nonetheless. Dude, with these flies, come on here. It's getting a little out of control. Um, you paid out with a spider? My own bad, but check it out. We got a pill. It's a tears upgrade. Well worth it in sort of a roundabout fashion if you don't think about it too hard. Okay, tiny mega fatty on a tiny room. Yeah, that uh, was very sensible. Not surprised at all I took damage there. I mean, we're going to be fine. Not only do we have a lot of HP, we have nine lives backing it up. No idea what this is. The Necronomicon. We'll perthrow that because we have the opportunity to do so. And we got the Pact, which is awesome. I don't know if it was set to be a deal with the Devil item, and that's why it was two deal with the Devil items in a row, because we didn't leave the room or something. But luck down. Uh, only a slight disappointment, honestly. The Pact is a great pickup, though, of course. The pact is a grotesque animal. There's there's an of Montreal reference that is not to uh, their Outback Steakout Steakhouse commercial, so people can stop getting mad thinking I don't like uh, you know of Montreal, Mr. Boom, uh, Mr. No Thank You, Mr. No Thank You uh, sounds like a K-pop song. Uh, let's uh, put this down here, and we got another pill. This one is Balls of Steel. I guess good to know. We're, we're pretty good on... Uh, that was incredibly stupid. Uh, we're pretty good on HP right now, but... Luckily, we're good on bombs, too, because I just wasted that uh, charge right there. We will do the boss trap room, because, again, the items in the in the chest could be anything. The exception will be if it's just a regular chest, then I'll probably say no. But um, anything apart from that, I may well be interested. One last bomb fly. 
Addicted, not really a good pill. We're probably not gonna have a great chance at boss rush here anymore, and that is that's completely okay. Oh, we do have an item. BOGO bombs. I mean, we got great bombs. You're gonna love our bombs. We got a hot Mr. Mega Bombs. In fact, I'm a little salty. Maybe we should be putting these bombs down before we fight the boss. Because we didn't get uh, the, the hot bombs effect out of it there. Unless it's really chewing up his insides like a habanero horchata. I don't think you can make a habanero horchata. Well, you probably could. I don't know if anybody would want to drink it. Uh, okay, occasionally we become like invisible to enemies. It's all right. Feel like it's probably in our best interest to just uh, pursue the item room here. Again, boss rush is is fun, but with chaos, why not get um, as soon as possible get uh, whatever this item might be. The mark, man, that was really good. We also got the ability to fly out of it. Okay, um, you know how I was saying sometimes chaos is good, sometimes it's horrible. Chaos has been really, really good on this one. Uh, the Pact, the Mark, Nine Lives, Bogo Bombs is okay. But still, like, almost everything that came after Chaos is a real winner here. And the ones that weren't winners, I pretty much subjected myself to. So, can't really be mad. Um, we, we are not really able to do those uh, mob trap rooms, unfortunately. Wheel of Fortune is, uh, well, it's certainly better than Addicted, which is just, like, literally horrible. But... To his spades? Sure. I'll, I'll pop that right now and roll Wheel of Fortune. Mostly because I just wanted to get out of that room. But we, we didn't have to pop it like that. But what's done is done. Don't really care about Spirit Hearts here. So, of course, we get one. We also got another bomb synergy. Sticky bombs. Not really essential for us. But I guess, like, every bomb synergy that we get makes me happier to get another bomb synergy in the future. So, um, sure, keep stacking up the bomb synergies as far as I'm concerned. Another key back there. I think you have to actually... Oh, no. We, we definitely got the uh, the spiders off that one. I thought maybe we had to, like, actively stick it to them. They couldn't run into it. If we get 99 bombs, we'll start using bombs more frequently. And, I mean, with BOGO bombs, bombs should be pretty easy to come by. But, uh... Just want to make sure... That we're, uh, we're saving some. I wonder if our Curse of the Tower bombs get that synergy. I'd say probably. Just pop it in here, see if we can get a better... Card. The Hierophant is definitely a better card, I think, the Wheel of Fortune. I understand the virtues of Wheel of Fortune, the potential virtues of Wheel of Fortune. You know, taking it down to the, uh... Nice. Taking it down to the, uh, the chest and getting a, a bonus item out of it, but we're still too early to really worry too much about that. Our shop is not super interesting for us here. Fate basically gives us HP. We already have enough Spirit Arts to really be concerned about permanent Polaroid invincibility. I don't want to ruin permanent Polaroid invincibility right now. Um, you know what? It has been a while since we had a deal with the devil, though. I'm ready to pay three spirit hearts for one red heart and then pay that one red heart back for Squeezy. Hook me up. Little Gish we're going to be stuck with, but uh, it's not a bad thing. Basically gives us slow, slowing tears. Um, and in addition, I guess we get one more familiar just to make the run like a little bit more ridiculous. Boss Rush is now a theoretical possibility. No Krampus, no Krampus, not Krampus. I will pay three Spirit Hearts for Black Candle. I will pay three Spirit Hearts for Roid Rage. Let's do this. I'm all in, man. The extra speed plus range is useful, but also, like, this was kind of a no-brainer. Like, Black Candle is a, it's a great choice. You know what? We're, we're fast enough now that we could probably afford to replace uh, Goat Hoof. So, sure, we'll take uh, Pinky Eye, which is probably something like a trinket that I vastly overrated for a long time, but... We can function with it here. Stacks up another tier effect. I guess it will compromise the slow a little bit, but... Ah, uh, you know, there's an, there's enough enemies to go around on most of these rooms. We don't have to... We don't have to be too protective. Actually, really good indication of how strong our damage is right now that we just destroyed that Fat Bat Tomo Fly. Some people from the anti-Fat Bat Tomo Fly, uh, you know, defamation league here been trying to tell me they're not bats, they're mosquitoes, they're swollen with blood. Yeah, whatever. I don't know, Big Blood's got you right in their fucking pocket, I guess. Like, how does it feel to be bought and paid for by the Big Blood industry? Always trying to get you to donate blood, takes 20 minutes, save someone's life, do it for free. 
you don't get paid for it, but you do get like an orange juice and a cookie. I used to, I used to donate blood uh, all the time. It actually, it got to the point where I wish I lived in a country that wasn't as safe as Canada, and I mean that as a uh, as a joke, because obviously the benefits of living in a safe country are outrageous compared to the minor inconvenience this caused me. But I, I told this story in the NLSS a few times. Uh, I didn't give blood when I was in South Korea, but I gave blood like all the time, like every six weeks prior to that, from the point that I was like 17 onwards. Um, and then when I came back, they were like they pulled me aside into this special interview room. And if you don't know, like when you when you give blood, you already have to do that, at least in Canada. Like, they, you go into a room and they're like, hey, um, have you ever, like, had sex with the needle? And then you're like, what? Do people do that? And they're like, just answer the question. Okay. Just tell, I'll, I'll tell you anything you want. Just give me back my son. But um, they took me in there and they were like, yo, here's a book with a map of South Korea. Like, point out all the places you went. And I was like, it's a first world country. More futuristic than the town I'm donating blood in. And anyway, long story short, I was able to donate blood. But it, it turned like a 45 minute... Uh, this is like super not worth it. It turned like a 45 minute process into like a two hour process. And I was like, well, I don't know. I don't really want to do that again. It's kind of a... Uh, it's a, it's a selfish thing to say. I'm not saying it's, you know, fuck you Canada Blood Services. Like you, you cost me, uh, or you cost yourself a customer. Rather, I'm like, man, it sucks that as a human being, I'm like, well, I'll donate blood to save someone's life, but only if I can fit it in, you know, within one episode of a Netflix original series, right? So I guess, uh, you know, maybe this is the, I've publicly shamed myself. Maybe I should get back out there and donate blood. I have, uh, I have a, uh, a type that is widely, I can't, I never remember, you know, it's not my job. I'm not a hematologist, you know, um, but, uh, it, it's either one of the ones that's really easy to accept or it's one of the ones that's really easy to, or there's a lot of people that need it or something like that. Oh, we'll definitely take get out of jail free and fight mega Satan on this run then. Actually, the, the process of donating blood. You know, it never bothered me. I'm not, like, anti, uh, well, not anti, but, like, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm widely averse to, to needles or anything like that. You know, you give me a shot, you take some blood work or something like that, I, I, I can look at it, you know. But, uh, I do, I mean, it's it's crazy to me that in the United States you get paid to donate, you know, plasma platelets and, and blood. Why aren't you guys donating blood all the time? In Canada, people donate blood like, you go to a high school, people are like, yo, donate blood. Or, I'm not gonna date you. Like, it's, maybe it was just the high school I went to, but it was like some 21 Jump Street, the film shit, where people were like, yo, you're gonna be like publicly shamed if you don't donate blood. What, what, you don't want to donate blood? Get out of class for half an hour, save somebody's life, get a cookie and an orange juice out of it? In the US, why aren't you donating blood all the time? You get paid like 25 bucks a pint or something like that. You can't just donate endlessly, of course, but... don't Can't people do that to, like, sustain themselves? If you donate, you know, plasma platelets and semen, you can go out for, like, a five-star dinner, right? Or at least buy a five-star binder. Do those still exist? Yo, dude, cool it a little here. Okay, we're, uh, we're fine on time. Hush! Little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a rocking bird. Mocking, rocking, mocking. Uh, we should open this. We do have a guppy chance, even if these are unlikely to pay out with guppy items based on the fact that we have chaos. Um, could have gotten anything there. Oh, we have golden bombs. I should be throwing these down non-fucking stop. Like a movie starring Chris Pine and Denzel Washington about a train with no brakes. There you go. Keep yourself back here. Loki stands no chance. I guess we only get the spiders if it kills the- Whoa, the bomb teleported with him! I didn't know that. But I guess we only get the spiders if it actually kills him, but uh, that's okay. Yo, we don't need your spirit hearts. I don't need your handouts! Open sesame. Come on here. Come on, Judgment. I believe in anything if you'll believe in anything. I don't want HP though. It's gotta be better. It's gotta be like compass. The bombs are actually- Totally fine. We may use those in the future. Okay, sure. That's a lot of them. 
Every bomb synergy is nice. We got 11 bombs there for like 20 cents. Pretty good deal if we're not using the money for anything else. Got to be getting close to our boss fight at this point. I mean, this run, I don't want to say I called it early because I always call it early and oftentimes I end up being wrong, but uh, the nail is like such a good starting item as long as you don't start with zero HP or like one HP. Because I mean, even if you start with one HP, effectively that means that you're going to start with, uh, with two, right? But having the nail and also Dark Bomb and also... Uh, Succubus, and also, you know, nine lives. It's like, we're not gonna die on this run at all. We just, we're getting spirit hearts left, right, and center for reasons I don't even fully understand, but, like, demon hearts just appear for me. I'll take fanny pack. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't really want fate. I don't want red hearts. We can easily get enough spirit hearts to, to fulfill our childhood dreams here, so. Where's the, uh, where's the point in that? I, I will say, I'm getting these comments. You, some of you people, and when I say you people, I mean commenters, I mean nothing else. Everybody goes, what do you mean you people? I mean the internet commenters. And they go, oh, we got a strong run, why don't you fight Hush, no balls. Yo, let's not frame the Hush fight as if it's some ooh, friend zone. Not good, but I guess Beelzebub transformation uh, is getting closer. Um, let's not frame it like um, the, the Hush fight is some like incredible high octane thrill ride that every run should aspire to. I, oh, it was stuck to him, but I just couldn't see it. I tend to agree with um, a lot of people who seem to think that the Hush fight is a decent change of pace every once in a while, but otherwise kind of boring. So on a run where I don't choose to go to the Hush fight, there could be several reasons. One would be that um, I don't think the run is strong enough and I'll probably die. One would be we have nine lives and it could like quite reasonably end our day to, to go down to the Hush fight. The other one would just be the Hush fight sometimes is kind of boring. I'm sorry to say, okay? Uh, that just takes us down to uh, to Shoal, so I don't want to go there. So, you know, everyone says no balls, no balls, no balls. When you don't, If every run was a Hush fight, it would be like uh, the purgatorial force that you don't want to see in this world. I promise you that. We would eventually get really good at the Hush, but, you know, do we really want... 20% of every Isaac run to be me dodging those continuum shots like it's a, it's a buzzkill sometimes man I'm happy to do it on dailies or on runs where I think we're like particularly strong to fight the hush, but uh, Or or just when I need to change a pace like sometimes it's just been a while since I fought hush and I'm like yeah, let's do it but um, I don't think we'll do it on this run just because, like, my tears are great, but they're also not that exciting. It's not like we'd be going down to the Hush fight and, like, destroying him and then, like, oh, yeah, fuck you, buddy. Nah, it would just be, like, it would just be pretty good, but I would still probably take a lot of damage. Worst case scenario, we nine lives ourselves and uh, end up fighting Hush for, like, 45 minutes. The addition of the Hush to the game has added another wrinkle to the is nine lives good or bad uh, category, or to the, the quandary, I should say. Nine lives, by the way, still great. However, now, uh, if you're going to fight the Hush, nine lives can be worth passing up, sometimes. Uh, and, and it's kind of nebulous where that line is drawn, but in my opinion, it's if you have not enough HP to survive the Hush fight on your first life, then... Um, you know, get ready to be trapped down there for 50 minutes. And I say that uh, as someone who has a pretty vast amount of experience uh, being a little bit overly aggressive going to the Hush fight. I mean, did you see that daily like a couple days or a week ago where like I fought the Hush for like 50 minutes? I'm in the middle of building like a ridiculous backlog right now, which which frustrates some people and I understand it, uh, but it'd be better to be honest about it, right? Um, uh, so that, that episode was, I think I recorded it like last week. Last Thursday, maybe? I don't know. It might it might only go up, uh, you know, in, in July. That's not true. That That's a backlog that is too ridiculous to exist. Probably. Um, let's get out of here. We'll, we'll find out one day. Was there an eternal heart? No, that was just my fly next to a heart that tricked my brain. Visually speaking. Um, okay, great stuff. Another curse room. I will take the opportunity to go to said curse room. HP is really good. We should be completely fine to fight Mega Satan. Ooh, we got Synth Oil as well. One step closer to Spun. 
We are going down to the chest with 20 keys, so there's a at least a chance that we get uh, that we get spun uh, before our Mega Satan fight, or not at all. Like those are the other. That's the other option. I could do some rooms. Like our luck stat is above average for sure. Got a another spirit heart there. Our luck stat is above average, so if I wanted to, I could uh, I could do some extra rooms. Do I want to? To try to get chests on the chest? I mean, it's possible, I guess. Self-sacrifice. Not really too much of a priority on uh, on non-daily runs. There you go. I gotta admit, not quite tearing into enemies quite as quickly as I expected, given the strength of this run. We've got like a lot of traditionally good, like strong items. You know what? I'm just gonna take this right now because I uh, I do think that I probably am unlikely to backtrack. So just take your money, move on. I just can't really complain too hard. We're at 28 minutes and we're almost down to the chest. And then when we get down to the chest, we're just gonna fight Mega Satan. So this is like a sub 35 minute run for sure, which is probably like roughly right in the average range um, but with above average damage so you know that's a very positive thing I'm starting to rethink uh, how I how I deal with mama Gertie and daddy long legs I think when mama Gertie does her spikes or daddy long legs comes down with a foot or Isaac does a beam of light from heaven um, that we that we don't intend or we, we don't have a very good chance of dodging I think it's in our best interest to stand still takes less mental energy, and it means that there's no chance, or at least very, very little chance, you dodge into a shot. And if you can avoid dodging into a shot, um, I think that lowers your odds of getting hit in general, so... I, uh, I'm starting to rethink that, but it's gonna take a while to become internalized. It's the kind of thing that may make a difference, uh, over the course of like a thousand episodes, it may save a run one time. But still, we're kinda getting down into that fine level detail, you know, if I can make improvements, let's make improvements. There's a golden bomb. Uh, a little little too late to be super worthwhile. A chest. Okay. Uh, flies. Guppy's head. Blue baby's only friend. This is definitely Beelzebub. Like, for sure. Yeah. And blue baby's only friend will take. And lost fly will take. Guppy's head will take. Um, we should do one more room at the very least, just to get... Uh, just to get the nail damage bonus charged up. Hopefully we get some items here. Oh, Well, we, we lost some HP, unfortunately. But we're, we're about to gain it back, but still. Doesn't feel great. We don't have Nun's Habit, so Guppy's Head, I think, is a worse choice for us to bring in. We do have Nod Leaf. I suppose if, if things really get tough in here, we could just stand still. And let Blue Baby's only friend and also succubus and also demon judgment do the dirty work for us that sounds like a horrible uh fever dream i want no part of okay kind of went a little ballsy there not sure i should have stuck that out as long as i did uh we should definitely endeavor to kill bosses with bombs because killing bosses with bombs is going to give us spiders spiders are going to be very potent Um, these enemies are not ideal. We got a hit there and knocked back, but somehow it didn't do damage to us, so that's that's a new one for me. Still got lots of HP. Don't don't sweat it too much. Also getting like a lot of uh, a lot of fire on this map. Maybe we should just start throwing down bombs like all the time. Just to put as much fire on the map that can hurt enemies but not us as possible. I kind of love this idea of, of kind of having like an alternate uh, strategy for combat. Just basically scorched earth here. No spiders there because the bomb didn't stick. I keep getting hit but not taking damage. I can only assume that it's actually um, us not getting hit. If that makes sense. Like, it's infamy blocking the shots, but because of the transformations that we have, for whatever reason, it doesn't actually uh, show the uh, the normal animation for us getting hit. Or the normal animation for infamy, like changing our translucency or, you know, whatever our overlaid saturation. You know, I'm not a graphic designer. I just go into Photoshop and type uh, the, the episode number and we're good to go. 
Not not the best fight I've ever had against Mega Satan, but it looks increasingly like we're gonna live. Actually, it, it keeps getting decreasingly likely we're going to live, but still probably like a pretty good chance. Although three HP is a little a little scary. Just remember, we could always just stand still and and wait for him to die. But if we're gonna do that, we should probably uh, do as much damage as possible before we enter the period of purgatorialness. Good damage, good damage, good damage, good damage. Get in there, yeah, boy. Oh, it's Jamestown all over again. Thank you, Infamy. Oh, that's good damage right there. Yo, where's my mulligan flies, though? We gotta have him soon. That was that was really good dodging towards the end. Apparently, I got a demon heart out of that somehow. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.